Anybody who's working on uh, publicly funded projects, uh, they think that 2012 is going to be a, a tough year by a two to one margin, whatever the category, highways or uh, K through 12 schools or public buildings, uh, more of them think it'll be a bad year than a good year. Uh, up until now, from 2009 till about mid-2011, it was public contracting that kept the business alive. Uh, there was stimulus money, uh, particularly for highways, and uh, there was uh, money going into the base realignment and closure or BRAC process that led to a lot of contracting at select military bases around the country. Uh, the Corps of Engineers was pouring money into uh, flood prevention and uh, recovery work in the New Orleans area. All of that work has topped out. We're still going to see some firms that are going to shrink, even close their doors. Uh, there's a lot of concern that subcontractors in particular uh, have hung on as long as they can, and, and this may be the end for some of them. Well, contractors who are working uh, on power and energy projects, especially things having to do with the shale oil and gas that is uh, being exploited in more and more states, uh, I'd say they're the most upbeat. We also see some signs of hope among those who are doing hospital and higher education projects. More firms are going to start adding employees, and uh, a good chunk of those say they'll be adding more than five workers, so it's not a trivial number uh, of employees that the industry might add. Uh, but clearly, I think it's going to come segment by segment, and uh, like last year, most of them are saying, we think things are going to get better, but not until another year from now.